It is day 10 of the Star Citizen Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. It is best in show day, which means there's not actually that much to show. Um, so let's have a quick jump in. Have we got any, we haven't even got any audio points to tell us about the, the ships. No, there is one, there is one over here. So we've got the four best in show ships that won the ship showdown this year. One of which may be slightly more controversial than the others, but but still legitimate, legitimately Selected voted top one. Vote, the IAE best in show lineup is a chance for your favorite ships to take center stage at the expo, at least most of the time. At the 2938 expo, that year's winners were all ships too large to actually fit inside the show hall. Bam. That's, that's some good laws right there. So, what we got? We've got a 600i, the beast of the origin, sort of giant two constellations stuck together, but luxury kind of ship. Um, it's available in uh, Explorer and uh, sort of touring variants. Um, and you can see here that these ships may look slightly different than normal because they are in the best in show um, IAE skins for this year. Um, so each year, the, the top four ships, it seems, will get some skins and some other bits as well. So uh, if you own any of these ships, um, or buy them today, I believe, um, on the, uh, it is the 28th of November, um, you will get uh, the skin and you'll get some other goodies as well, which we'll talk about uh, in addition to the ship and whatever package you buy it in. Um, so, yeah, the, the, you can rent these as well if you want them. Um, and they come with their own special 2951 best in show um, little um, suffix there. But uh, 600 right is a great ship to uh, mess around with. You've got the Argo Cargo, which uh, the Argo MPUV. Um, it is the little tiny snub for moving cargo around. doesn't have much use in the game yet. It is the winner of the um, best in show this year. Mainly through memes, but I mean it proves that even the, the littlest boy can be voted toppest boy. Uh, and a lot of people love the Argo, not just because of the memes, but because it's the little ship that could. I mean, it's cool. It's cool a ship. It just it'd be great for it to have more, a bit more function. And in the future, it will. Um, we've also got the mighty Hercules C2. Now, I do recommend people mess around with the Hercules C2 because it's a big ship. It's got a huge amount of cargo. Um, it's worth renting just to see how much money you can sort of leverage by large cargoes. But it also allows you to take those um, tanks and lots of ground vehicles around if you so wish as well. And then you have my favourite ship here, the Mercury Star Runner. Now, I'm not the massive fan of the skins this year. Um, I think I prefer them to last year's skin. I mean, they're alright. I just don't know, I like... They just don't feel clean enough to me. There's something, something weird about them. Maybe I just don't like this colour of blue. I'm sure some people absolutely love it. Uh, but the Mercury Star Runner, it's a great multi-role, multi-function ship. It's got a bit of cool stuff coming for the future as well, where it's got data running and smuggling um, as possibilities, and maybe even data interception. But it allows you to do a little bit of everything in game right now, other than mining. Although you could get a like a rock or something and put it in the back, and then you can even do mining. Just sort of room for a ground vehicle there. Yeah, it is uh, my favourite ship, mainly. Um, well, not mainly. It's just because of the way it looks. It, it looks great, but it's also got like it's all lighting set up. Um, all set up properly, if we can. Close the, that boy off. We can go over here and go, what's, what's this here? Oh, a little secret panel. We're going to open this. Where does this open? Oh, little, little secret boys. And this would be a little smuggling area. And then it goes into a vent system. Which allows you to come up in different places in the ship. Which I just, I just really love. The, the Mercury Star Runner, um, it's just got the, like the latest tech. It's like, like gold standard already. And yeah. It's, uh, it is my favourite ship by far. Um, I believe downstairs there are a selection of terminals, or at least there will be tomorrow if they're not there yet, that allows us to rent any ship um, that's previously been available during the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. So let's go check. So yeah, coming down the stairs, there's actually some more stuff down here. and uh, some interesting suits of armour. Uh, and we'll talk more about some of this armour. Um, we have a look at what's on sale on the website because they are selling some interesting things today. But you can um, you can go up and you can sort of um, buy these weapons and gear if you want. That new Quarinus armor. You know, a lot of people love that. I certainly do. I think. 
think I like it in white the most here. The security armors are like more um, blacker, but um, it's got those new armors there. I sorry, I really like this grey cat suit as well. I think that looks fantastic. You've got a load of armor that you can actually just buy at the event today as well. Um, then you've got these terminals over here, which will allow you to rent any of the ships that are previously on um, on rent um, earlier in the week. Um, so grab whatever you want there. Got a load of weapons and SMGs and pistols and uh, all that sort of jazz as well. So, I mean, this is a, a great little area if you do want to get something in game now. Um, and you don't know where to buy it from. You may be wondering why an expo focused on vehicles and spacecraft would want to highlight personal armor and weapons. While it's true that getting there is half the fun, what you do when you arrive is just as important. Having the perfect gear on board will help ensure that a landed pilot will be ready to take off again soon. Nice. And then over here, we've got some medical stuff? This is a nice little display. Hi. Um, so it's got all the different med pens. This this guy's not living his best life. Oh. Uh, and then you've got loads of uh, the medical tools and stuff here. Oh, I really like that. That's, that's a fully functional medical system. Okay. <laughs> Technically it is. Yeah. I like that. I like a little, uh, <laughs> little medical um, show there. It's a little display. But yeah, um, try some of the rented vehicles. You've got them um, now until the 1st of December to use these terminals to rent more ships and um, check them out. Let's have a look at the website, though. So it is best in show day, but it's not over for the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. It is on until the 1st of December, and I think the um, sort of cheap... Um, Packages, game packages are, are available um, until the 6th of December, I believe. So, um, they've got those four ships on sale today and all the other previous days um, that sort of uh, ships on sale as well, which you can grab if you so wish. I'm just going uh, back and forward uh, on the on the days here, bam, out at the bottom left. Um, but we're also, if you have one of those four ships, you get um, the skin for it. So one of the four ships being the 600i Mercury Star Runner, Argo Cargo, and the Hercules C2. Um, so you get that blue skin for it. Uh, but you'll also get a jacket, and uh, one of these leather jackets matching that ship. And everyone, everyone gets a Argo um, backpack as well. So I believe that's as long as you've got a Star Citizen account of any description, um, everyone will be having that attributed to their account. Uh, and you'll get that in the next um, couple of days sort of thing. They're just sort of starting to put them on now. Um, so we've got uh, the 600i available today. Um, we've got the Hercules C2. We've got the um, MPUV Cargo, Argo. Um, and we've got the Mercury Star Runner. We also do have special buying options for all of them as well. Um, so um, you can sort of like do a war bond upgrade to the ship. Um, so sort of bear that in mind. Um, and you've got... Uh, all these ships coming with 120 months insurance and obviously all the flare um you get that the, the jacket and the paint uh, all that sort of jazz and i don't think there is much more going on beyond that uh, ah i'm wrong there is because cloud imperium are also selling these new armors um that are uh, in game now um you can um get them in game for the most part um but you can also buy these sort of special edition versions uh, as well if you want. Now, you can lose stuff in 3.15.1 at the moment. So if you lose these armors while they're on you, um, you will lose them until you either reset, reset your character or the next major patch. Eventually, you will be able to you know, get this stuff back somehow, I believe. Um, but basically, you can buy um, either a pack or each one of those armors individually uh, or with a special weapon um, that matches that skin. So the Coronas armor comes with a cool sniper rifle. Now, I really like the Kanto um, or Kanuto skin, uh, as it's actually um, stated. I like the sort of white um, Coronas armor here. I think it looks very clean. It looks very Destiny. I actually quite like that. And a lot of people will be like, oh, they look weird. Well, they do look weird. I kind of like it, though. Um, I, I prefer if they'd also sold the Hurston security variant as well. But um, it's just color. It's just color changes for the most part. 
Um, so yeah, check that out on the website if you're so interested. Uh, check out the Expo Hall until the 1st of December so you can actually try out uh, all of those ships. And um, yeah, I'm interested to know what you think of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo and um, what you think of all the ships that we've seen. What do you think of that new Spartan, the Argo Raft, and even that mighty, mighty o o Odyssey? I couldn't even say it for a second. I forgot what it was called. The Carrot Competitor, um, which I have actually now also bought one myself or upgraded one of my ships to one, I should actually say. Um, but uh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, 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 ah. You can buy these incredibly expensive packs as well. Should, should you so wish. Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. It's November and that means, yes, you're right, it's Nord VPN season. All those delicious Nords are collected together to make the finest VPN that I shield for on my channel. Not only is Nord VPN delicious, but it also protects. Check out the links below to get fantastic discounts or go to nordvpn.com slash boardgamer. Do you dream of being at the controls of your spaceship in real life? Well, now you sort of can with Game Glass. It turns touchscreen devices into diegetic controllers for Star Citizen, and you can get the basic software free. Check it out in the links below. Every month we have a ship giveaway as well. This time it's for a Mercury Star Runner, a multi crew ship that will let you do a bit of everything in game now. Or at least most things, lots of things, lots of things in game now. In the future, it might allow you to do smuggling and data running too. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that is comment on any of my videos during November. More details down below. If you'd like to further support the channel, please consider clicking the join or thanks button under my videos or even becoming a Patreon. You get some cool stuff to show that you're a true supporter of mine and Zin's art, some exclusive polls, ways of shaping the channel, some exclusive videos, all that sort of jazz too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the verse.